Hello everybody and welcome to Super Castlevania 4 Super Castle Suit Super Castle It's a super castle And in a regular castle It's a super castle I don't care about the intro Because Because reasons Anyway, jump, it's the B button I don't want that to be the B button I want that to be the B button Whip, I want that to be this button. Item, I want this to be this button. Don't argue with me. Anyway, let's do it. Start that shiz. So, enter your name. Let's name it. Let's name it. Judson. Because he played this. Judson with the space. So, he's like, eh. Because Dracula came back. So this game is a remake of the original Castlevania. Well, that's much easier on my fingers. There you go. Yeah, you can moonwalk upstairs in this game because, um, reasons. So anyway, uh, so Super Castlevania 4 is a remake of the original game. However, there's one major difference, is that Simon can whip in multiple directions. Yeah, he can whip on multiple directions, he can jump on stairs, he can, he, he can influence his jump in midair. Like, there's all this stuff you can do in this game. I don't know why I'm going this way. Yeah, you can also uh, duck, you can crawl walk. Is it actually crawling? Look at that boy. Yeah, this game's an absolute classic. I would not deny you that. There's a lot of bats here. There you go. Bon Dragos. That's just enemies. Ow. Cross game. game. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy game. More physical power bitch. Ooh, invincibility. Me like that. Me very much into that. Oh god. Oh! Sounds like Simon just got a case of food poisoning. Well, that's not the right way to go. You're supposed to go up. Let's just moonwalk a little bit. Sure. Uh, the reason it seems like I know what I'm doing is because um, I've played this game before. And uh, I've done a practice run of this game. And by practice run, I mean a complete and utter failure of a recording with this game. And I did do that as a little tutorial on... Uh, on how to do it. Get over there. Get, get over there, please. There you go. Mm, baby, that chicken wing. Yeah. Now, now there's not just wall chicken. There's chicken wings. Okay. Okay. So you can. I thought you could only walk upstairs. Uh, looks like you can do it down, down as well. Yeah, if you finagle around with the controls, you can do some uh, interesting stuff. Oh, 
go. Oh, that was just his head. Don't be cheesing me during this video game. Yeah, but anyway, um... You're like, look, you can whip in eight directions. You can fucking... You can... You can whip in eight directions. You can... You know, all this, you can do all this cool stuff in this game. This game is be a breeze. No. No. This game is so goddamn cheap and annoying. I jumped over him twice and he still got me. Fine. You can get hearts. They still don't heal you in this game. Oh shit. I'm glad they put a chicken wing for the boss, because if they didn't, I'd hate them. I know that the first boss is coming up. I just died on the first level. I just got myself killed on the first level because of greed. I, 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 want, I want to end this series right now, actually. Getting killed on the first level is not acceptable. And that's, that's the first time, I think, that I've died on the first level. In any of these series. Oh my... Yeah. I don't know what... I don't know what it is with this game, but for some reason, they... they this game never wants me to succeed. All it wants me to do is fail. So, I might, like, have a fail counter for this. I might edit all these episodes. Just put in like a fail count. Cause that might be necessary. Whatever. Oh, this is the freaking horse boy. I don't, I don't like this game very much. Um, I mean, it is a good game. I respect it as a game, but as a Castlevania game, it's too goddamn cheap. It's too goddamn annoying. Oh my fucking god. I, I respect it more if it wasn't so, so fucking cheap. Like, basically, you know how I keep, I brought up the point that, like, all the difficulty in Castlevania 1 felt, you know, it was difficult, but fair and passable? For some reason, Castlevania 1 and 3 just decided, no, nah, we're gonna throw that concept right out the window, and just fuck with it. Well, I mean, Castlevania 3 did it, and then this game was like, should we change it? Nah, we don't want to disappoint the people who played the three. No. You disappoint the people who played one. Because <laughs> much like Castlevania 3, this game has a whole host of great ideas that are wasted because of cheap fucking difficulty.
Like, this is supposed to be like a hey, because you can whip in eight directions, you can do so much stuff with the level design. And I can respect, I can, I can respect this game for all this, for all the good that it has going for it, but. After all, it stops getting interesting, and, like, they soon, like, they quickly leave the realm of the creative and interesting to the realm of insanely unfair and frustrating. This shit can get grueling at points. Like, this game does reach Castlevania 3 levels of hard. And it's not, and like Castlevania 3, it's not immediate. Probably even less so than 3. Because at least with 3, like, probably as early as the fucking, fucking birds. Probably as early as, like, level 2 and 3 in that game. Like, they try to fuck with you. And this game... They fuck with you and, like, you can see the game's fucking with me. With all these birds and shit. Oh, here's Medusa. Check this out. No wonder she's not on that end, end level boss. Whatever the axe isn't that bad. So, yeah. Um. Do I like this game? Much like Castlevania 3, I think I'm gonna end up saying by the end of Castlevania, by this one. I'm probably gonna say that I like this game, but I can't love it due to the difficulty. I think that's what I'm end up gonna, gonna end up saying by the end of this game. I'm end up gonna I'm probably gonna end up saying that I like this game because it does something so much good for the franchise. But trying to one up Castlevania 4 in difficulty is just that's insanity. You can't try to do something so stupid, like, that's just... You can't do something insane, because it's insane! Trying to make a game more difficult than Castlevania 3, it's almost like a dick measuring contest. Yeah, this is the point in the game where the game really starts trying to... This is the point where, in my practice run, also known as a bunch of failed recordings, I started to lose my goddamned mind. This shit was starting to piss me off. And honestly, that makes the atmospheric music really start to bother me, because... Like, Castlevania 3 followed Castlevania 1 and having, like, like action-packed, energetic songs. This game goes for a more, um, atmospheric soundtrack. And for this game, it works, okay? It, it works for this game. Like, for Castlevania, yes, it can work with an atmospheric soundtrack. However... When you're forced to retread through the same levels over and over and over and over because of bad level design and bad enemy placement. That's when I start to feel really, really irritated and pissed off. Now obviously you can tell I know where secrets are because I've played these goddamn levels before. But, yeah, collecting money in this game is very important because you want to rack up as many extra lives as you possibly can because, um... Because the way checkpoints are handled in this game... They make Castlevania 3 look like a fucking... They make Castlevania 3 look like it was developed by a goddamn saint. 
Well, this is where they stop dropping. This is where they start dropping shit on you. Yeah, they casually just start dropping fucking rocks on your head. It's like... It's like, I understand we crafted... It's like, hmm, what set pieces can we make in this cavern area? Falling rocks. It's literally the best they could do was falling rocks. F seriously, falling fucking rocks. Uh, falling rocks! That's like the pinnacle of bad level design. And keep in mind, that was just one section. That whole nightmare of an area was just one, one fudging segment. Wow, I almost hurt myself with that. But yes, you want to rack up as many points as you possibly can in this game. Not for a high score, but because they net you extra lives. They, they net you extra lives in this game. And you're gonna need as many extra fucking lives in this game because of how cheap the level design gets. Because these levels are, are a goddamn... They're... They're an, they're an insanity test. They truly are an insanity test to see, like, urgh, why? Why would you put grapple points, freaking upgrades, and all this other shit on the same screen if you're just gonna take it all away from the player? Like, it begins. Even with this fucking level. I, I... Now, this could just be me sucking, and I understand it probably is just me being really bad at this game, but I don't get it. Like, I don't get, like, how they could develop the first three games. We'll just, I'll say first three, even though we're going to pretty much ignore Simon's Quest for the most part. They developed Castlevania's one and three. And then this one. All three of these games. Very difficult. For some reason... E the, like, the way they dictate difficulty in this game is not whether or not it's a fair challenge, but by how they can just... Fuck it, I don't care about this. I don't care. I don't care. That, that, that doesn't help me. Look, the, it, like, the platforming is probably... Like, this fucking platforming is probably gonna get me killed long before... Those fucking fuzzy fuck nuts do. God damn it! Like I just said, the platforming got me killed! What the fuck?! I hate this game. I, I, can I just tell you guys, I hate this game. I hate this game. I like this game, but it drives me fucking crazy. It drives me crazy. I don't know. It is probably just me being absolute ass at this game, but I, I cannot stand. Like, I, I do not, I can't figure out why this fucking game is so difficult. I, I can't, I cannot understand. Apart from just saying, it's classic Castlevania, so it has to be hard. That's not enough reasoning for me to validate why this game is such a frustrating experience. Just because it's classic Castlevania doesn't mean, like, I understand that the whole game is gonna, like, I understand it's classic Castlevania, it's a Super Nintendo game, it's probably gonna be difficult. Like, I get that part, but they, they introduce so many mechanics and so many of these other things, that's a dagger, I'm not even gonna bother. Like, they introduce all this stuff in this game. All this all this stuff. All these all these set pieces. God damn, I can't! What's the point? Why put a pickup there if all it does is get you killed? What's the fucking point? Just to mess with you? Like I I don't need that many fucking hearts. I'll get hearts, but I don't need that many. Cause I don't I don't 
I got so angry that I just completely forgotten, like, like, it got brutal recording this game. Like, I recorded episode one, it was fine. Like, I had a few hiccups here and there, but apart from that, I was fine. Then, then I get to level three. It's a disaster. And then each subsequent level after that was its own nightmare that I had to spend so long, so much time and energy to get through. And I wasted pretty much an entire day's worth of recording and my life all for nothing. And I feel that this run will also get canned. Like, I feel like I won't even be able to upload this one. This game is... It irks me in such a fashion... Okay, I finally got it. It irks me in such a way that I... I, I cannot... I, I can't verbally describe it. It's... It's basically my personal hell at this point. Just fuck. You know what, game? Fuck you. Actually, you know what? Fuck off. I don't care. I just want to get to the next segment. Oh, oh this song is almost like they make fun of you. This here he is, waiting for these blocks to fall before you go on the falling blocks. It's like, wait, the blocks are already falling. Why are you doing this? And then they put all this junk here. And hey, you enjoy these guys in all the other games? No, you hate them? Well, fuck you. You get to deal with them again. And I'm like, I don't wanna. They're like, too bad. You're playing the fourth game now. Fucking, this is how difficulty progression is done. But I'm like, no, this is not how difficulty progression is done. Difficulty progression is how the first game did it. You get a third of... You, you, you did something in the first game, it was difficult, but then you you learned, and it would... The, the, the way to beat it would come naturally to the player. Not... Like, in, like, a playthrough or two of the level. Not like this game in Castlevania 3, where they want you to play the level fucking 50,000 goddamn times before you finally master the goddamn thing and can do it perfectly. Like, you, you can tell my frustrations, right? Like, even if this game isn't that difficult to you, like... You can at least understand why I seem to have trouble with it. Because the Lord knows I can't figure out why I have trouble with this game. Like, like god damn, I have no idea why. And it's a shame, I really dig this game. But it's like, I can't fully enjoy it due to how much it just fucking frustrates me. Like, just due to the sheer amount of just uh, rage and frustration that can bring me, I can't fully enjoy the game. You know, I always have to be, be thinking like, okay, I like this game, but it's also very hard. So, like, it's like, it's like Ninja Gaiden, like, I enjoy it, but at the same time, it's like, I can't, this isn't something I would love to come back to and revisit, this is something, that, like, you would, like, I would dare somebody to play this game. Oh my god! That was a bird! A bird just killed me! I finally get past it! I get so far into the level, and then bird, dead! Do it again! Previous screen, bitch! I, I hate how checkpoints are done in this game. I just, I flat out hate how checkpoints are done in this game. 
Checkpoints are not designed well. You are designed to go for way too long at a time. Did I just fuck myself? I think I just did. I gotta, I gotta do this whole part again. Okay. I mean, like, this shit. Why? Why would they put a grapple point over a fucking pit like that? It's such a tight-ass platform and everything. And then this fucking cut cock! Those fucking birds just took out, like, all, like half my... They took half my fucking health. They took half of it. Fucking birds. Fucking birds. I hate birds. No, I don't hate birds, but... Again. It does prove my point that birds in video games are assholes. Oh, right. This is the boss. Okay, this is boss time. So, I kind of cracked at this boss. You're supposed to throw axes. Which, uh... Which kind of is gonna lead to a tangent I'm gonna go on. Is freaking the sequelitis episode about this game. Uh, if you... Are you serious? Did I seriously just... Oh my god! I'm not gonna... I am seriously not about to just replay this entire stage because of my own fuck-ups. I'm not. Because of one tiny little fuck-up, I am not about to just play this entire stand again. That would be so bullshit if I had to play the entire stage again. And guess what? I would not film the replay. Because, you know, that's what I that's what I did the first time. You know, I filmed, I filmed every little section of this the first time. And I, you know, I hated myself the entire time. So, no, this time, fuck that shit. I refuse. Oh my god, I almost just killed myself. Again. It's like, it's like I'm my own worst enemy in this game. Half the reason you die in this game is because the fucking death traps are placed just... So many dickish, dickish positions. Like, Fuck these goddamn birds. Fuck these things. You'd think I'd get another extra life at some point, like fucking shit. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna go into that motherfucker with full health. Full fucking life. Let's do it. It's because they squander so many things in this game. They, I get that they want the, you to focus more on, like, the new controls and all this new stuff, but, like... Stage four. Actually, I did remember. I do remember getting a stage four originally. Whatever. Stage four made me really angry in the test run, but whatever. I'll try this again later. 
And I know I'm gonna I'm gonna space these episodes. Excuse me, I'm gonna space these apart because I can't be you know filming these episodes, getting really really angry and just trying to uh, chain them all together. That, that that's just a recipe for disaster. So fuck that. I'm just gonna just chill out. I'm probably gonna die. Should I just kill myself? I mean, it's not like it's not like this level is really gonna matter later. I'm just gonna have something kill me. Here, kill me. I may as well have a full set of lives for next one, so, yeah. So there you go. I may as well just have a full set of lives, just so that I can do it later. But, for right now, it's fine. I don't care. Alright. So, anyway, next time on Super Castlevania 4, I hope to get through some more levels. But, I probably will just get really angry instead. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Fuck, I fucked up the intro, the outro. Didn't I do that before? I think I did. I have been Reaper Vegas, and I'll see you all next time.